How we going guys? Welcome back to the competition giveaway build mini series or wh whatever we're going to call this thing. You can see here right now the MUX is done. It's finally completed and I think it looks badass. <laughs> This episode, I'm going to give you a run through the overview of the prize pack. But what we're doing tomorrow is you're going to see the whole family five up in the MUX. We're going to take this thing out wheeling. We're going to have a camp out for the weekend, um, utilizing somebody else's gear, really, which is kind of cool. Like I'll get to use somebody else's stuff. So whoever wins the prize giveaway, if there's any scratches, you find anything in the rooftop tent that shouldn't be there, well, bad luck. It's just the way it is. But you've just won 150 grand's worth of stuff, so it's probably not gonna bother you. The only thing that I'm not really happy with, well, I'm very happy with, but it makes me not happy with something else, is the lift, um, the new prototype kit from Fulcrum has given this thing a hell of a lift, and the 30 inch tires look a little bit small, but we also need to keep it legal. So you can see here, it's got a really, really tough stance now, the MUX, a um, lot of ground clearance, so again, I'm really keen to see um, tomorrow how it goes off-road and how those departure angles uh, work. I'm really keen to get back on the BFG all-terrains. Um, that's something that I haven't, um, I haven't been on for a very, very long time. So thanks to the team at Bob Jane T-Marts. Now we get to trial all these, um, all these different tyres. You get to see the, um, the multi-fit uh, P-Core wheels there. Um, the offset is just absolutely perfect. You can see it's still got that little bit of tyre poke on the bulge, but the tread's underneath the guard. So really happy with that uh, offset. While I'm here at the front, um, the off-road animal bull bar. Love the style, been running them for a while now. I think the last two giveaways that we've done have actually featured the off-road bull bar. One thing I would do, I think, if this was my vehicle, I'd actually colour code that front bar. I think um, the white's really clean. There's enough black accents on the car. I'd really like to see that colour coded. So if you win the prize giveaway, send me a photo. I think you might have thought that I was about to go into that, you know, but you paint the bar, send us the photo of the bar painted. That's what I'm trying to get at. X-Ray 220 LEDs, watch the loading up um, videos on those. You know, I'm a massive, massive fan of the LEDs now. The off-road animal bar comes with its own integrated light bar as well, which is not, not a huge projection. It's a bit of a bit of a floodlight. Iron Man winch, maybe we'll get to use it tomorrow. Hopefully not, but if we do, I'll come back to you on that a little bit more. And a 600 mil GME um, whip again. I say it in a lot of videos. If it's a daily driver, family car, or something that you're gonna be using all the time, um, definitely consider that your whip is sitting under the height of your roof rack. On the roof rack thing, we're going with the Yakima roof rack on, on this one here. To be honest with you, the reason we've gone with Yakima on this one um, is because it was the only one that was available at the time. So the 2022 MUX, um, we've done a little bit of research. There wasn't any other brands available. Never used Yakima before. Don't know how good they are, so I can't really comment. But if that rattles around and falls off tomorrow, then Jakob is no good. If it stays on, then maybe it's a good bit of gear, yeah? Uh, sorry to the team at Yakima, who we have no affiliation with, but you know, I like to try new products. Um, really, the only thing that we've done inside, well, there's two things that we've done inside. Red Arc Toe Pro, of course, so we've run the P-Core, the new Trail Connect uh, wiring harness, which is a new bit of gear that is just starting to hit the market uh, with P-Core now. It's a fully integrated towing harness, so it comes with a Red Arc Toe Pro and um, obviously everything else that you need. It's multi-fit, goes into every vehicle, really cool. We're still doing the final testing on that. And GME XRS, um, again, you need to watch the loading up videos. This is the new one with the inbuilt GPS. Um, so you can follow up a little bit more on that if you want more information, but 
in my opinion, that's the only um, the only radio on the market. This one here, we opted with a factory snorkel. Uh, if the factory snorkels are available, I'm a big fan of, of factory gear when it comes to you know daily drivers or, or dual purpose cars. If you're going to do a big build that's specifically for touring or whatever, um, you know I like using a lot of the aftermarket stuff. But if it's going to be like a, a daily car. You're gonna get it serviced from the dealer. You're gonna have it warranted by the dealer. You're better off fitting factory stuff. And I do that with all of my cars. Comes with a factory um, rear locker. So again, I'm assuming that this thing's gonna be really, really capable. Window tint's been done on this thing as well. If you come around the back, factory tow bar, obviously. Three and a half ton towing on the MUX. So we're gonna to be towing the little Patriot X1M. We'll get to in a second. And you can see around here, this is the actual trail connect harness. That little LED that's on at the back is telling me that there is um, power available at the Anderson, which is really cool. Um, if I open the boot, I love this thing, eh? I really do. And I actually threw it out on Instagram yesterday. I just ordered one. So I'm getting one next month. So you would have seen in the last season of Patriot Games, we have a, um, an MUX. We have a graphite old shape MUX um, as a family car that uh, we use doing runs around with the kids and we're taking them to parties and all the rest of it. And it's just come in so handy. The twins uh, use it as, um, you know, kind of, I don't like to say spare car because it's really expensive, but they kind of do use it as a spare car. Christian's S15 is always broken down. The thing's probably out of the 300 days that he's owned it, it's probably been running for five days. Ashton's FJ, I'm actually anticipating that that's gonna be broken a lot as well. So when the kids need to get to school or trade college or go pick up groceries for mum, um, the MUX is available. I'm so impressed with this thing. I've, I've actually just bought one and that's, that's legit. I've got one coming, I think in three weeks it arrives in silver too. So a little bit different. With the back of this, we were intending on putting a, a second battery kit in and running an inverter and all the rest of it. And then Red Arc released the go block. I, I can't stress it enough. And I, and I don't just say it because of the affiliation with Red Arc. This thing has changed my world. It legitimately has changed my world. There is nowhere I go now without the go block. If I'm out in the boat, if I'm fishing, if I'm going down to the park for a barbecue, Chuck this around in the back of uh, the RAM, in the back of the MUX, running a fridge, uh, 100 amp hours of lithium on board. It is just, it's, I know we all hate the word, but it really is a game changer, right? It, it actually is. Red Ark Go Block, game changer. Maybe like use that, or maybe not Red Ark, if you use that as your slogan, I probably won't affiliate with you anymore. Um, but check out my loading up video on that. I won't waste the whole time on this video on that. So good. Let's just enjoy that for a minute. Oh, it's nice. Why don't Patriot campers do stuff like that? Imagine you could push a button and your little door opened and you push it again and the door closed. Imagine if we could do that. It could happen. Patriot X1N. Um, I'm not going to open this today. It's been a really long time since I've actually done a walk around on a Patriot Campus product. You know, we kind of we leave that uh, more to the ambassadors and that now. So I'm kind of excited to take this out tomorrow. Um, so I'll give you a really good run through on that tomorrow. The X1N is our, I suppose you'd call it our entry level model, but it's really taken the X1 back to what it was originally designed to do, which was to give the customer as much control as possible over their camping style and future-proof their camping styles as well. So it comes with an integrated platform on top. You can put on whatever rooftop tent you like. Um, we've chosen to go with the electric uh, Dometic rooftop tent. Had a fair bit of experience with this thing um, out at Fink last year. Absolutely love it, gangster. But again, I'll show you more through that tomorrow. And then the Polaris Ranger 150. Now, please stop the comments. Where, where do we put it? How do we pick it up? That's your problem. Like if someone gave me a Polaris, I'd figure out where to put it. <laughs> Just turn up with another trailer or another method of picking up your Polaris 150. 
hopefully for your kids, or if you don't have kids, for your nieces, your nephews, your next door neighbor, whoever you want to give it to. Um, it is a really cool bit of gear. Biggest thing with the Polaris Range 150, you would have heard me say in, um, in past episodes, is it's got GA fencing on it. Now, I would have absolutely loved to have something like that um, when the kids were really young. My kids have been brought up around dirt bikes and Polaris's and you know all sorts of, um, of off-road equipment. Now, with the GA fencing, you got an app on your phone, you can set a perimeter of where you allow the kids to go. So let's say you're on a, on a decent property and you're in an area that you can't see them over a hill or whatever, when they reach that GA fence, the GPS will kick in and will shut the machine down on them, which is, I think, is just an awesome feature. I've lost my kids a couple of times out dirt bike riding. So GA fencing, it's actually something um, that you'd really use. If not, if you don't have kids, this is the best thing at a campsite. Chuck a fridge in the back, chuck an esky in the back, couple of the boys, couple of the girls, go for a cruise around. Um, it's, um, they're really good, really good fun. So, I think that's probably a little bit of a walk around of the gear. I think maybe you go back that way and let's, let's do the big reveal, yeah? So, I'll, I'll walk, yeah? You walk backwards, got it? And we'll do the big reveal together. Okay, ready? Let's go. Okay, so the Patriot Games, $150,000 prize pack. The ultimate giveaway for anybody who's into touring with, I think, the best gear in the country, some of the best gear in the country. One, a, a, a whole new thing for us, giving away a, uh, a seven seat car. Fill it with all the girls, fill it with all the boys, fill it with the family, however you plan on doing it. Very capable bit of gear. The Patriot X1N for the flexibility on whoever wins it. And the little Polaris Ranger 150 for the kids or the bigger kids or the people still think that they're kids. I think it's the ultimate um, giveaway. That's about it for today. I will see you on the next episode of the Patriot Games Ultimate Giveaway, where you're gonna see all this gear working and getting dirty, and you might actually get to see me break something.